Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's tutorial which is on using split toning in Adobe Lightroom. So with that said, let's get right into today's tutorial. I teach quite a few workshops on Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop and usually most of the people that I teach most generally don't ever use the split toning option within Lightroom and so I'm going to show you on one of my uh, recent portrait shoots of how I use split toning and just exactly what does that do to your image so if you come down to the drop down menu here in split toning you have two options you can adjust your highlights and then your shadows and then in between them you have this uh, balance level so in this instance I kind of want because of this particular photo you see it's kind of like a, a has this nice little halo and the colors that's kind of dominating here is I, I want a warm color tone for the skin tone but then I also want to warm up the surrounding with with my subject so I will use the split toning to, to usually do that and so what I want to do I know the color that I want is sort of like a goldish kind of color so I'm gonna change my highlighted area and we're going to go to about our warm colors here and then we'll change our saturation so as we go up you know it can be super extreme like that or if we come in the middle it's a little bit more balanced but we don't want that much there we want maybe about an 18 20 or so and then the same thing with the shadows now sometimes what I'll do if I'm I'm kind of unsure about what I want to do for that specific photo I will just start the saturation and then hover over what part I want my hue to be and so for this one I want to go a little bit more on the red purple side so we'll go about right there and we'll come down maybe a little bit off the shadows um, let's add that little bit back okay now it's a little bit too intense on the shadows so what I want to do is kind of balance it get the balance right so if I take it all the way you see it's really defining of my highlights to my shadows whereas if I go the other way it blends them very very nicely to, to where it almost looks like there's nothing there that's what that specific option does with the balance so it's very good to do if you're trying to really gauge where you want your your highlight and shadow colors to kind of meet or blend together and so we don't want it to be like over extreme like this so we're going to increase the balance a little bit just to get them kind of you know right there on that brink right there now sometimes if I want to you know maybe add a little bit from here maybe I have the balance right but I might want to push you know a little bit of my my highlight colors for example I can do that but we don't want to go too much so maybe about eh, we'll go about there and you know sometimes I can even adjust my shadows as well just to kind of see where do I want those to sit okay so that looks pretty good you know I kind of a little bit exaggerated a bit just to really show you all what the split toning does and how to actually utilize that so that's our current photo this is what it looked like before any of our adjustments and you just really see the difference of what that can do for your photo so that's a quick look at split toning in Adobe Lightroom so try it out for your photos and see what kind of results you get on your images. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.